Welcome along. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Xavier here with the Zayway. I know this is a new background. I know this is like kind of a whole new thing. So I just thought I would take you along my uh, journey of me changing this around me. Um, I kind of got this here for the moment, but I kind of want a place where I can display my sunglasses and I didn't want to pay for anything and I'm good for a DIY as you guys can see because I build this whole entire closet design holes concept and stuff by myself at first i was just going to do it so i was like you know what that would be something so cool to let them see so i'm just going to record my whole self doing it and then you guys can kind of like tell me under if you like it or not i hope you like it because i mean honestly if i don't like it it's gonna probably end up being changed so yeah all right so see I just came up with this other idea. Right, so what if I took this off, place this here, kind of put something on here, but still kind of came there and kind of took something there. I honestly don't think I'm going to like that. This is already a shelf here, so it could still be like another shelf and maybe I can put something right there where I can like put other sun. We can put like other sunnies, like maybe like put this here, sunny here, and then kind of have the other sunnies under it, like draping it a little bit. All right, we just want to do it and see. So normally what I try to do is take two nails and put the nails in and just hit them in the wall so I can make the hole and then I just kind of go back in and know where I'm going. It don't always work. Like this wall really need any more holes, but all right. And then normally after I make my hole, I just kind of take this hammer, beat it in a little bit because man, HB screwdriver actually went out. So I'm gonna take. I don't know what these are. Oh, flathead Phillip uh, wood screws. Okay, so yeah, I'm doing like a metal screw. I normally have a pack of these. I buy this stuff like by the, th I'm, I swear to God, I think I was a handyman or some type of crafter type of something because I love doing stuff like this. Love. I was telling HB like once we get our home, I want to have like a wood shop because I want to build like my own furniture, which that's why I said, I'm gonna start like doing all that on here. Honestly. We just gonna start playing around with stuff on here to see, hey, if I mess up, I mess up my money. But let's get this done. Uh, ho, ho, all right. I see they have like the two different ones. So they have like the flat one there and then they have the one that's like this. For this one, I've kind of realized that I have to kind of use the flat one, but I have to use like the smallest one that they have. Because though I got that little shelf from Walmart and it doesn't come with it. But the actual shells that I made, like I built these shells right here. Like I did all of this. I spray painted this everything black and everything. Like I, I wanted it everything black. I didn't, I found these on Amazon. These are real things on Amazon. And I spray painted uh, this black and I spray painted the little thing that is on black. So it can have like a black finish. Oh my God, I'm off. That's why I said it. It ain't always accurate. It is not always accurate. Oh, it's another unnecessary hole. Another unnecessary hole. This is the headache of doing DIYs. Oh. 
all my glasses just fell on the floor. It's crooked. Yo, are you serious? Oh. Another unnecessary hole. Jesus be a fence all around me every day. Jesus, I want you to protect me as I do this DIY along the way. I know you can. But you got a light bill too. But you got a light bill too. But you got a light bill too. But you got a light too. I know you will. Fight my battle and make these holes stay away. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, wait. That kind of came out wrong. <laughs> I feel that came out wrong because that didn't sound right to me. So I know if it didn't sound right to me, it's not going to sound right to some of you guys. So we just going to keep it. <laughs> you know what? What am I doing? This is how I started at the beginning. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm on the money. I'm on the money. Oh. Um. When I just did that, it made me think of boom, 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 I used to live for them people in their movies, baby. They used to go in. They used to go in. I'm telling you. I'm gonna get y'all a piece. Actually, no. I'm thinking about the wrong movie. I'm thinking about Showgirl. I'm putting Showgirl and Center Stage together. I cannot. Oh, baby, but Center Stage? That is a movie that made me appreciate ballerinas. It did. It did. Because that ending performance. Yeah. Yeah, it's long, but I don't think it's hanging. Why is it hanging? Is it hanging? Okay. All right. So let's hope this come on. Okay. I found this at Dollar Tree. And we're going to just try to move that up to there. Switch this out real cute. There we go. There we go. Yes. I love an easy transition. I kind of really like doing things with tax because when you do it with tax, it doesn't leave such a bad mark. I'm going to use like two of these for small ones to kind of do the idea. And it's pouring with this one. All right, since we already had everything marked, which made this process a little bit more easier. 
I'm gonna leave the nail out just a little bit so I can still give myself room to wrap it. Wait, I like this stuff to be even. All right. And then I'm just gonna take this here, wrap this around. Lord, wait a minute. It's getting too thick. I don't think we're going to make it, people. Oh, guys, I think we got it. I think we got it. Oh, we made it. All right, my people. So, I'm at the end of this. This is actually what I came up with as a finish product uh, or a finished design I took I actually sketched this up so I thought it would be really cool to take this sketch that I did uh, I removed it from here which is hey I'm feminist I'm like iPad but I removed it from there which I have this because this was originally up there and so I what I did was I changed this up also I took these also came from a bouquet that was on that was associated with my wedding when I married HB so like I told you guys I'm a very sentimental person and so I wanted I definitely want to keep things from the wedding around so I can decorate them in, around the house and then also when I have children they can also see hey guys these are flowers that I had at dad's wedding also that little thing that's in there is also those two so yeah and so what I did was I color coordinated my glasses from white all the way down from silver to orange and because that's orange i added that with the because the lens is kind of has that orange kind of like hue in it and then because this has a red like um hardware i put the red glasses there then i also kept going with the gum metal like gold and then kind of took it from the from the gucci grays all the way over into the brown up into the black to the silver also with this i'm really excited because now you guys remember when, when i first kind of did this i had all them holes and stuff right there you can't even tell where they were well one peak this little head right there but who cares who cares that's not the gist of it but i love it i it came out exactly how i envisioned it in my head so i think it's dope this may change and i say may because i like because how it represents the sunglasses i may just add something there or i may just leave it out here i think i'm gonna leave it how it is do you guys think i should leave it out here? tell me below have a blessed day once again thank you so much for watching my video i hope you guys really liked it and we'll be back i'm excited for diy for um channel have a blessed one guys love you bye